Hi YouTube, so I think it's about time that I finally put my testimony out there. My testimony on Jesus Christ and how he just completely changed my life. Like just completely transformed it. And you know, you, I have to start with my lifestyle. I was living a very destructive lifestyle, a lifestyle of homosexuality. I would hook up with guys left and right, you know, anyone that would pay attention to me, anyone that I thought would fill that void, I would be on Grindr and I would, you know, have sexual relationships with them. It was a lifestyle to fill that loneliness, to fill that desire, to feel, to feel. But it never worked, you know, it always left me feeling empty. It left me feeling just seeking more. I was also dealing with drug addiction. I would smoke weed from morning till night. I would have my little like pen that I would stuff weed in it and I would just smoke it constantly. I would smoke it at work. I would have problems with my parents because I refused to quit. I just loved it so much. And summer 2017 was when God intervened in my life. He said he had a plan for me, you know. He had something better for me. So around July, I think it was 21st, my friend and I went to Electric Forest, which is a electronic music festival. I went with my friend from work and my other friend who I don't really talk to anymore. But we went and I had never gone to a festival like that. It was my, I was never that kind of person. I was more of a stick to yourself. I was more reclusive, now that I think about it. But I decided to drive there and on our way there, my car would overheat. It overheated like 30 minutes before we got there and so that 30 minutes turned into like two hours and once we got there my keys got stolen so I had to pay $300 to get a new pair of keys yeah $300 for a pair of keys and because it was like three hours away from home so I couldn't drive back my parents were going to Mexico too and so I was alone I was just all alone here for the summer and so you know I knew when that happened that I wasn't gonna have a good time but I still decided to listen to my friend she told me let's do this LSD let's do let's do this let's have fun and you know I was like why not you know it was something I was curious about I thought it would be fun but as soon as I took it I realized it was something dark like I just felt these beings around me so much anxiety and fear and I would just hear people laughing like I would walk through people and all I would hear was laughing like laughing at me and I remember just looking at the crowds of people just surrounding me and a voice in my head told me like Francisco what are you doing here all of these people are empty I recall seeing subliminal messages too. People would dance in front of all these screens and they would obviously be super high. And I saw these messages flash. They, I saw them clear. You can't convince me that I didn't see them because I saw the words consume, buy, obey, listen. They flashed and people were just, they didn't see them, you know. Or people didn't care maybe it was both of those things but after that I was like I don't want to be here so we left the day early and you know once we got home I decided uh, I was gonna cut ties with both of those friends and so I did you know I decided to say hey like I don't want to be friends with you anymore and I had a lot of bitterness you know I was angry I I hurt them you know I said some mean things and you know I regret it now but that's how it happened unfortunately now we we've overcome those things but I still don't 
don't see myself being friends with them because some people just aren't there for your growth. But anyways, I was working at Wayne State in downtown Detroit and I was having Starbucks. I was having an Americano. Just sitting there on my phone, you know, on Grinder, looking for my next hookup. I was sitting on a couch all by myself and these two random girls came up to me. And from what I remember, they they said, do you have a minute to, to talk? Like to just, you know, to talk. I was like, sure, why not? You know, I'm just drinking some coffee. And they pulled out all these random pictures. It's like random pictures of people walking, people riding their bikes, people walking their dogs, of money, of nature, like just all these things. And you know, they started asking me questions like pick three cards that represent what you want from life, what you want from the future. Pick three cards that you want from your love life. Pick three cards that you want from your your work life. And so I would pick them, you know, I would pick random ones that I thought would fit my my response. And so, you know, we got to the end of the questions and they said, well, you you have something figured out. You think you have a plan for your life. You think you know what's best for you. But God has something bigger for you. God has a plan that's perfect for you. And a plan that's just... It's the one plan that's just right. Like, he has everything figured out for you. And I was like, okay, okay. And they had this little booklet. And the little booklet said... On the front of it, it said... Would you like to know God personally? And they asked me, like, would I like to know God personally? And so I was like, yeah, why not, you know? So, yeah, they went through the book, and it just described sin. You know, it described the fall of man. From the very beginning, Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God, and sin entered the life of humans. You know, we disobeyed God, so we were separated from God. We were... There was this, you know, this abyss between God and humans because we decided to go our own way. And, you know, God, he died for us. He had to come to earth in the flesh to pay for that, what we did. He had to be the ultimate sacrifice for us. And we have to repent of our sins and we have to call on Jesus to enter our lives and to change our lives and to guide us and to really be our savior and just be the king and at the center of our lives and you know they just went through it we all we talked I was very interested in everything and at the end of it they were like would you would you like to pray to invite Jesus into your life and I said yeah why not and I was never that kind of person, you know, to be praying. I never really, I didn't know Jesus before that. I, I had a sense of what God was and, you know, but I know Jesus. I didn't know what he did for us. I didn't know, I didn't know the gospel. And so we prayed, Lord Jesus, I ask you into my life. Please forgive me for all of my sin. I want you to guide my life and be the king of my life. Please forgive me and be my Lord and Savior. And, you know, we all prayed together. We closed our eyes and we prayed in the middle of Starbucks. And we exchanged numbers. They said, text us. Let's go to church. They texted me. And, you know, I left Starbucks. I said goodbye. And they would text me. And I would always just make up excuses. I would always just be like, I have to work. I'm busy. I can't. And eventually, you know, they stopped sending me messages. So, eventually, yeah, so eventually, you know, they gave up. And I was still living that life of, I can do this and that. I I can hook up with guys. I can smoke weed. But I still, I kept that book they gave me. And I would still read it from time to time. I would read it and I would think about it. And I had it right next to my bed, you know. And one night I came home from work. And I just felt something, something like, calling me to I it was it was Jesus just calling me like talk to me like and so I got in bed you know I was still in all my clothes I got in bed and I just started talking to him I was like Jesus like from my bottom of my heart I was just telling him like I believe in you I believe in what you did 
I believe you died for my sins. I believe you are my savior. And so I asked him, please, like, come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my savior. And I just kept saying it. And I just felt so at peace, so warm, so still. And all of a sudden, these bells go off in my room. Not like church bells or like something like just these bells, like these chimes. Like, I don't know how. To... But yeah, these bells just. I looked everywhere, you know. I looked under my bed. I looked outside. I looked on my phone. I was trying to find the source of these bells. And I've never heard those bells before or after that. And, you know, I realized I, I, I took a minute. I sat on my bed and I just thought it through and I was like that was him that was him telling me like I'm here he was telling me that he was there and after that day I I changed my life I knew Jesus was there I knew he was real I knew he was going to save me and anyone that believed in him you know you just have to truly ask him with the, all your heart and he will change your life he will just completely change your life oh snap but anyways this is gonna be my first video and i thought you know it's really important to get this out here so i'm gonna post more videos about what he has changed in my life a lot of the stuff i've just learned and a lot of my dogs too lola hey guys <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, welcome to my YouTube channel, I guess. It's my first time, so stay with me.